Hello everyone. Welcome to answercoach.com. Let's get started. This YouTube course is a free help for all of you to make sure that anybody can learn freely. If you feel that our effort is worthy, then please like, share the video and subscribe the channel for upcoming courses. So let's continue with the series of Django and let's move towards the Visual Studio code. So what we need to do here guys, it's that first let's open our settings.py and here you would have written Traveler here, right? So instead of Traveler, you have to write this Traveler.apps and by Traveler.config, you have to change the name of the app because now if you go into apps, your class is Traveler.config, okay? So, oh, sorry. So in settings, you have to write traveler.apps.traveler.config. Guys, I just want to tell you, about one, uh, tell you one thing here. You know, sometimes when you are making changes in settings.py, you know, by mistake, sometimes you click any key on your keyboard and it deletes something on the settings.py. For example, uh, right now when I was working on uh, this settings.py, by mistake, I deleted this parenthesis and you know what happened there will be an error in your program and it will be too tough to find out that error so you need to always work uh, carefully you need to work carefully that's what i'm trying to say here so we will save this and now let's open our answer one uh, let's open our terminal right here in answer one I told you what make migrations means, okay? So here I will write make migrations, make migrations. Now let's hope that this works. We'll close all of these extra files, you know, just keep your code clean as much as possible. We just need this right now we just need travel right now so guys yeah it worked it's showing create model destinations if you open this file in migrations there's a new file this new file has has all your fields it has id description name it doesn't have image i guess this image but that's okay we'll see that uh, that's fine let me just go to models. Okay, I'm just not here because we have to use equal to here. Okay. This is why you use make migrations to save all of the things first. We will again run make migrations here. It's saying uh, image to destination. Okay, let's provide a value here, I guess. Zero. So yeah, guys, this is it. Now if you go here, you can see all the changes. Uh, field also added and image is also added here, okay? Here, right here, image is also added. Now guys, what we need to do is, we need to go into our, now, these changes are only here okay these changes haven't been made on the um, database so for that we need to write a command python manager people migrate that now i want all of these changes on my database so here i will just write my great And it's saying applying all migrations, applying everything on the database. And this is it, guys. Let's go to a PG admin. And let me show you here. Let's open our server. Let's go to Postgres SQL. We are using answer to right. 
yeah yes we are we'll go to schemas we'll go to public and here you then go to tables and then in tables here it is as travel underscore destination we will do all rows here and you can see all of the rows are here already there i'm sure they would be here just wait a second here is this guys you can see the id the desk the name the image the boolean and everything here but you can't see the price here no why can't we see that guys now the problem here is that in uh, in our price we have to pass a value to okay so how will we do that we will do that by by this and we will save this now this is re-migration what I am telling you about we will click on make migration that will ask us for a default value and we will give it a value 0 here ok don't worry about that we will write 1 we will give 0 and then we will write migrate and then when you will go back to our here and if you will just refresh this and if you will view all rows here again you will see a price table too so here it is guys the price and last but not the least this is just a small start if you really want to learn then register in our premium live classes where you can interact and learn live with us we are waiting for you there thank you again